Oliver, darling. So punctual. Poor V, the boys just run a mile. Why? Well, she gives it away for free. She's sexually incontinent. Has been since she was 14. My mother always said. Born masochist. And then there's all the stuff with the food. What stuff? Oh, yeah, fingers for pudding. We thought she'd grow out of it, the throwing up. I... I didn't know. Well, exactly. Hasn't even helped. Complete waste of time. Honestly, but if she found the right boy, or girl, I don't care. Anything. I was a lesbian for a while, you know. But it was all just too wet for me in the end. Men are so lovely and dry. Oh, it can't have been easy for Venetia. With you being a mother. Why? Because. Because what? Because you're so fucking beautiful. What do you think uh, Pamela will be wearing tonight? What? Oh, Pamela's not here. Oh, sh she's gone. James thought it would be better to peel her away this morning without too much of a scene. Only so many hints you can drop. Yeah, she did seem a bit lost. Ha, huh, very tactful. She's a complete limpet. The wettest of wet blankets. And very hard to know from looking at her because she's so stylish. You'd think she was a riot to look at her, but there's absolutely nothing going on underneath. I know she's had a hideous time the past few years, but honestly, she did go on about it. I thought of it was true. What do you mean? I shouldn't have said that. No, no, go on. No, I don't know, just... The stories to the angel seemed a bit inconsistent at times. I thought you noticed it too. Oh yes, I had. Absolutely. The self-pity. The emotional blackmail. You know. Yes. Yes. God. I was feeling quite guilty about it this afternoon, but you're absolutely right. There was actually something quite sinister about her. Yes. Oh, thank goodness for you, Oliver. You're so perceptive. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, dear, she's just like her mother.